Why are so many people losing their minds over Pokemon McDonald's cards and resellers? Well, here's why. Everything changes. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into the channel. Today is Sunday, February 14th, 2021. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, recording some videos for you earlier in the day. Uh, gonna go grab some dinner tonight here in Alaska. No, wait, Orlando. That's where I'm at, Orlando. Some of you caught me CGI-ing, lying about where I was. I really am in Orlando, guys. It's a joke. Some people made a joke. Anyways, let's talk about the McDonald's Pokemon reselling mania outrage disgust that has been flooding the internet, my inbox, emails, YouTube comments on a multitude of channels. What am I talking about? What the heck is going on? Why are so many people losing their minds over Pokemon McDonald's cards and resellers? Well, here's why. So if you're not familiar, the 25th anniversary Pokemon uh, event through McDonald's is where you can buy your kid a Happy Meal for like six bucks or whatever it is. I don't have kids, I don't buy Happy Meals, but you get a pack of Pokemon cards in it, an unopened pack of Pokemon cards. I don't even know how many are in the pack. Somebody wanna help me, was it five or six or something? Anyways, some of those cards, like the holographic Pikachu and other ones, are worth like 30, 40, 50 dollars. So stay with me here, you see what I'm getting at. You pay five bucks or six bucks for something, you pick up something that's worth 40 bucks, it's a pretty good profit. So of course the resellers stormed out to McDonald's and they pawed up like, hey, uh, drive through window, can I get 25 Happy Meals? Boom! So 25 Happy Meals, all of a sudden they're out like 150 bucks, but they're cool with it because they're like, man, I'm gonna get 25 packs of cards. Some people are even selling the sealed packs of cards at a profit, like 15 bucks. Some people went as far as if they knew a manager at McDonald's or making a deal with a manager they didn't even know at McDonald's to buy the entire case. I don't know what the case cost them, 100 bucks, 125 bucks, but here or here or somewhere on this screen will be a picture of the actual solds. These are good solds, not money laundering. Sold cases, unopened cases of McDonald's Pokemon cards that obviously either managers sold to someone or some sticky finger managers took for themselves or whatever the case might be and are selling for huge profits, hundreds and hundreds of dollars per case. So there's big profits to be made. Well, this happens all the time in stores. We dealt with this back in October, November, December for PlayStation 5s, right? So I pre-ordered a PlayStation 5 in September when it was originally pre-ordered, but a lot of people don't realize that the pre-order date and the launch date are different. So then the launch date came, all of them were sold out because they didn't have enough stock. People were going to stores and buying them up and reselling them for twice the price instead of 600, getting 1200. And the regular parents that just wanted it for their kids were outraged. Well, you could have ordered it on pre-order date and got yourself one. This, this is a little different. So when you're running out to McDonald's and you're buying up all the Happy Meal toys, kids that come through there where their parents are legitimately just buying them a chicken nuggy meal and they're not getting Pokemon cards, are upset. They're crazy mad because, sorry, we're all out of the Pokemon cards. Well, there's two sides of this argument. One is people are, you know, resellers or resell supporters uh, have two angles. One is we're trying to make money. We don't give a crap what your kid thinks. Literally, that's an opinion. That's an angle. It's not mine. That's what you're going to see in a lot of these threads is we're buying stuff. We're making money. We're putting food on the table for our uh, our family, your kid can get a, a He-Man toy or a Spider-Man toy or whatever other toys they have. You don't need the Pokemon toy. Valid point. Maybe the kid just, that's the only toy they want, but they don't need it. They don't need a PlayStation 5. It is a valid argument, okay? Look, there's a, there's a, a train going past. See it? We have a little trolley, a train for all you doubters that I live here, uh, or at least temporarily live here. Um, so valid point. 
they don't need the Pokemon toy. I can see that angle. The second angle that the uh, resellers will take is that this happens all the time. It happened 20 years ago and 30 years ago. God, I'm old. Tickle Me Elmo and Wii's and PlayStation 5's now. And, and this always happens. And it's just a part of life. And that's a fair point too. It, it always happens. Everybody knows it. You're never going to stop it. Obviously, they didn't stop it at Tickle Me Elmo. They didn't stop it at Wii's. They didn't stop it at PlayStation's. And they're not going to stop it with Pokemon toys. Now, where it is different is that PlayStation 5s are sold at Best Buys and Walmarts and Targets and all these different stores. These Pokemon cards are sold at McDonald's. And so McDonald's put out a statement saying they are working with their local franchises and corporate stores to limit the amount of Happy Meals that a person can buy. Now there's still workarounds for this, you know, multiple people, multiple families and multiple cars. Trust me, I've seen it. They do it with iPhones. They line up to buy, you know, the newest iPhone that has a two iPhone limit that they could buy for 800 bucks back in the day and sell for 1200 overseas. They would line up family members, like eight family members so they could buy 16 of these because every single two was like a thousand dollar profit for them. So $16,000, of course they're gonna do it. Could be not as big for Pokemon cards, but still something they would do. Let's just drive through the drive-thru or go to one McDonald's, go to two McDonald's, go to three McDonald's. I mean, there's 10 McDonald's within a five mile radius of me. If I can only buy two Happy Meals, I can still go get 10, 15, 20 Happy Meals. So there's still ways around it, but McDonald's is trying to put a stop to it. Also, they're monitoring the inventory. Uh, now, this was something interesting that I didn't know completely, I sort of knew, but McDonald's says they um, leave it up to the individual store owners, the franchisees, or the managers if they're going to sell toys a la carte, which means no purchase of the Happy Meal necessary. All you gotta do is just give them five bucks and they'll give you the thing. And so they, uh, they said that they may look at restricting that, but ultimately it's up to the franchisee and store owner. So again, kind of like it's up to them if they want to make some money. Not supposed to, but you know, they could make deals in the back with somebody like, hey, I'll give you a whole case, 20 packs. I don't know how many are in a case. Uh, 20 packs, five bucks, hundred dollars, throw me an extra 50 and it's yours. Somebody be like, sweet, I'm going to sell for 400. Bang, they do it. Um, so something McDonald's, you know, this will die down, but for the time being something they're working on. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, the people that hate the resellers are giving them huge grief. It popped up on some YouTube channels where some big YouTubers went out and bought like 25 Happy Meals, opened it up just to pull the packs and show what they would get. Uh, unopenings are huge. You guys know that from like pallets and wholesale stuff, uh, even storage units, anything that you unopen and people want to see what you get is huge videos. Uh, I wish I had done YouTube way back in the day when, you know, I was doing storage units before anyone else even knew what storage units was. I bought and sold storage units before it was even on TV. That's how long ago it was, probably 2007, 2008. So 12 years ago, 13 years ago, I was buying and selling storage units, but YouTube wasn't a thing. And I didn't make YouTube videos, of course. So I wish I had, because they're big views. So people are doing that with Pokemon and they got a lot of grief because, um, People are A, mad about the whole reselling thing, and B, they're wasting a bunch of food. They bought like 25 chicken nuggets, and then what are they gonna do with it, eat it all? No, so some of the YouTubers came out and said they're donating, they took the meals, when they bought it, they took the meals and took the packs out and then gave the meals to homeless people around town. So uh, yeah, I, I get it, I guess. And then the packs of cards, they were doing giveaways to their audience, like, hey, I don't need the money. Listen, some of these YouTubers have millions of viewers, millions of subscribers. Them to go out and spend $150 on 20, you know, Happy Meals is nothing. They're gonna, their cost of goods for that video was $125 or whatever, but that video is gonna get a million views and produce two grand for them, three grand for them, right? So the profit is, they don't care. That's how, that's how big YouTubers are able to give away PlayStation or give away this. They make a giveaway video that gets millions and millions of views. That, that video might produce a thousand or two or three or four or five thousand dollars depending on their CPM. And um, them just give away a 300, 400, 500 dollar item is just nothing. It's marketing for them, it's advertising, uh, it's a tax write off and that is how they do it. And so for a YouTuber to give away uh, some McDonald's packs, who cares, right? So um, that is that side of things. So I'm gonna leave it to you guys. Leave it down in the comment section below. I know some of you have some strong opinions about this uh, and I, I value your input on this sort of thing because 
uh, people are going to ask me, what do I think? What would I do? Look, I'm not going to drive around to McDonald's and buy Happy Meals to get cards. I'm not going to make deals with people. Uh, I didn't do it for PlayStations. I didn't do it for the uh, Nintendo Classic Minis, those little things. The worst things that I do is I might buy one or two of something, uh, one for myself, you know, to keep, and then like a second one to profit to cover the cost of the first one. I did that with the Minis when they were limiting them to like two or three per person. Uh, they were making like a $60 or $70 profit, which was the cost of one. So so I got one for free essentially because the second one paid for it, paid the cost and my profit. Uh, with PlayStation 5s, I only bought one. I pre-ordered it for myself. I could have flipped it and made double the money, but I wanted one for myself. I certainly could have pre-ordered two of them and made a profit to cover my cost of the one. I didn't do it. I don't usually get involved in this and there's two reasons. Let me give you both of those reasons. Um, really three reasons, but one is the backlash. Like cancel culture is a huge problem these days and I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but even if what I'm doing is legal, which it is to flip stuff, people just see it as immoral and there's no reason to essentially anger half my audience just over some profit. Now, if it was my entire business, yeah, this is my business, you can think what you want, but this isn't sustainable income. These come and go, the PlayStations come and go, the, the, the Pokemons come and go, right? They're not a, a sustainable reason too. You can't depend on this income and I don't like to do anything that I can't depend on uh, as a long-term source of income, or at least a good length of income. We know this is a couple weeks and it'll be here and, and gone. Um, there are a lot of people that their entire business is based on the hype. They'll buy Pokemon today and Xbox tomorrow and, and all they do is buy the hype. It's just hard for me to see a sustainable business on that end. So one, I don't wanna anger people. Two, it's not a sustainable business. And three, this sort of stuff takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. Like driving around a Walmart, standing in line for Playstations or iPhones, that's just a lot of time and effort. I can make the same amount of money or more literally sitting behind a screen making videos, uh, advertising affiliate links, um, listing wholesale on our Shopify, selling boxes of clothes, listing stuff, even individual uh, higher dollar items that we have, um, you know, trading stocks almost on Robinhood or whatever, Webull or whatever you use, just sitting there. You know, I, I bought and sold something last night for, uh, I think, 20 minutes, I bought it for like 500 bucks and I sold it for 600. I made $100 in like literally 20 minutes without ever getting out of bed. And if I sat there and did it all night, I could. So it, there's better ways for me to spend my time. I, I think a lot of people miss the time is money thing. Now, if you drive around all day and you pick everything up and you're able to make 500 bucks, that's a really good day and, and I love it, but I'll make the same 500 bucks today uh, in profit just sitting around. So it's what you value versus what I value versus what you want to do versus what I want to do versus you knowing how to do what I do or not. So um, that's just another thing. Time is money, angering the audience and the masses for cancel culture, and it's not a sustainable business. So if you want to make a few extra bucks, you know, you do you. I'm not going to judge you, uh, but I'm not going to, you know, participate in it. I just never have and probably never will. Um, and with that said, as always, I want to hear whether he'll participate in it and what you think about it. So the comment section is below. It belongs to all of you. I appreciate you for watching, listening, seeing me here in beautiful Orlando. It's 80 five degrees, but the wind is like 20 miles an hour. If you can't hear it, it's whipping. Uh, I'll leave you guys with that here on Valentine's Day so I can go get cleaned up and get ready to get a nice dinner. Uh, make sure if you did not already join the absolutely free Amazon FBA Wholesale Workshop. It is free. You're going to learn Amazon FBA Wholesale Reverse Wholesale. It's linked below. It is next week, the 17th, 18th, and 19th. It is free. Let me say it again. F-R-E-E -E, free. You don't have to spend a dime. Just click the link sign up and come join us live the 17th, 18th, and 19th for the Wholesale Formula Workshop. Uh, there is a VIP ticket for upgraded premium features and options and training and all that stuff for $27. If you decide to do that, I'll send you all of my products uh, for free, all of my training packages and bundles. You'll get all that for free uh, with your VIP ticket, but you don't have to. Again, that link below is 100% free. It will ask you if you want to upgrade, but you don't have to. So we look forward to seeing you 17th, 18th, and 19th. Please be there. It will change your life. It will help you learn Amazon. If you've ever been scared of Amazon, it will clear it up for you. So thank you guys as always for watching. Have a wonderful afternoon and evening and Valentine's Day. Give that video a big thumbs up. Turn that thumb blue. It helps the algorithm. It means a lot to me. I appreciate all of you. Good night, guys.